In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this plugin right here, get mime type file extension. Basically, what this lets you do is read the file type extension of any file that you are uploading to your bubble application. So uh, this is a great thing to have handy if you want to make sure users who are uploading profile pictures are only uploading picture files and not anything weird like a Word document or a PDF. Um, it also lets you uh, display uh, different pieces of information based on the file type. So if you wanted to have an icon show, you know, a PDF icon versus a Word doc versus a JPEG, something like that, uh, you can use this file extension to help you uh, read those extensions from any file. So I'm going to show you how it works. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this is the plugin that you want to install. It's a free plugin. And on your page, let's say that we have a file uploader. I'm going to add that element to the page. I have a few sample files that I'm going to show you um, so that we can see different results here. And uh, I also need on the page this element here, get mime type. This comes with the plugin. Uh, this needs to be on the page. It's invisible, but it's uh, needed to make the plugin work. So you can put it anywhere. You're not actually going to see it when you preview the page. So what I'm going to do is when I upload a file, I'm going to have the plugin determine what the file type is. So I'm just going to right click on the file uploader and start a new workflow. And we're going to run this action. This is under element actions, get the MIME extension type. Okay, again, that shows up because we have installed the plugin. So it's going to ask me to choose which element I want to um, work with. I've only added one um, instance of this plugin element on the page. So that's just going to default to that. And then it's going to ask me for uh, either a, a, an extension itself or a URL. In most cases, you're going to do the URL of a file. So I'm going to do my file uploaders values URL. Make sure you go all the way down to the URL. And do check this box here, scan URL mode. That's how we will be able to read the URL. Okay, so now that the uploader, when changed, when, when, you know, when I've uploaded a file, uh, has run this action, now this element here, our invisible element, will have a value. And that value is going to be the uh, extension type. So what I'm going to do to display the value so you can actually see it is just add a text here right next to it. And the value of this text is going to be the mime type. This is our element there, that output. All right, so let's just preview this to see what we get here to begin with. So I, here's my uploader. I don't, I don't see anything else. Um, I'm just going to choose a sample. Let's do the sample PDF file. Okay, so the file is uploaded and we can see the text here is showing us what the output of that plugin uh, gave us, application forward slash PDF. So now I know that this is a PDF file. I'm gonna to change to another file. Let's say the, uh, my logo here, which is a PNG. So there I can see it is an image PNG. This tells me, you know, this helps me determine specifically that it's a PNG versus a JPEG or um, any other image extension. So if you want to use uh, these extensions uh, in conditions so that you can maybe prevent the user from uploading a specific type or only allowing specific type or even showing different icons based on what the type is, you're going to want to know what all of your um, extension options are. This page here, I'm going to throw this uh, URL down in the description below so that you can check this out. This actually has a full list of all the types possible. Now, a lot of these are um, very unique and specific to different applications, so you don't need to worry about the majority of these. You should really just look out for the ones that you can anticipate your users to upload if you have if you want to do any kind of conditional um, displays on your page. So for example, if I just wanted to find what it was for a PDF, I can search for PDF and here it is. That's going to be the result that I'm looking for. Um, I can do JPEG and I have a couple versions for JPEG, whether the extension is .jpeg or .jpg. This is the uh, output that I'm looking for from that plugin. So again, there's a whole bunch in here that you don't need to worry about because they're very, very specific to um, just 
software and applications, but uh, this will at least give you a complete list of your options. Okay, so I just wanted to show you one other example of using icons here. Um, with Bubble's standard icon library, if you type in, uh, I think it was, no, file. Yes, file. Uh, you'll see that there are a lot of different options for different uh, uh, icon images. So you can see a video file, PDF, different images there. I think this would be like a PowerPoint. This would be audio. So um, this is something really handy to like spice up your design. You can show different uh, icons based on the extension of the file. And you can do that all in conditions, right? So when the uh, output of our plugin is application PDF, I'm just typing that in, then I can change the icon to the PDF icon. And if it's something else, then I change the icon to something else. I just do other conditions like that. You can also um, create a field in your database to store the output. Um, anytime you want to remember what that file type was, you know, if you have a document manager app of some kind um, and you have a data type called document, you can create a separate field for file type. And this is just a text. And so anytime the document gets created, uh, you will also store the type here so that you know what to do with it if you wanna show different icons or um, some other wording for it. And of course, this would also have the file itself to work with. All right, so that's a quick look at this plugin. It's very straightforward to use. You can do a lot with it, especially if you're working with different file types and wanna make sure that your users are uploading and or downloading the right stuff. Thanks for watching.